As a young man, I used to look up into the stars and wish that one day I could become a professional football player. As a young man, I looked to the stars and believed that one day I would be among them, and I've been working hard to achieve that dream. My name is Ken Harvey, and I played professional football in the NFL for 11 years. My name is Richard Garriott, and I'll be traveling to the International Space Station this October. Through the spoilization of space, Richard and I hope to combine sports and space together and help students learn what science principles are at work when we play sports. What happens when you block an opponent on Mars, leap for a reception on the moon, or throw a tight spiral on the space station? Friction, energy, gravity, and momentum are all needed to succeed in sports. Especially important is Newton's law of action and reaction, which states that for every action there is an equal but opposite reaction. So how does gravity affect or contribute to common sports motions? That's a good question. When watching a sporting event, you don't stop and think of the physics needed to throw, kick, or catch a ball, run down the field, tackle an opponent, or change directions on the field. But each of these motions require the use of some specific physics that have to be applied in a specific way if you're going to be a great sports hero. You know, from August to January, tens of thousands of people will spend several hours on Sunday afternoons watching professional football players perform physics demonstrations. And they're going to do this just by watching the game. And Ken is going to help me work on a set of football drills that I can practice while I'm in space. Through these sports moves, we can demonstrate some of the basic physics that help astronauts live and work in the weightlessness of space. The Challenger Center for Space Science Education and I have developed a series of science challenges for students to practice here on Earth and then predict what will happen when I perform them in space. You know, if sports are played in space, some of the rules will have to be changed. Many of the familiar techniques used by athletes to successfully play a sport will not work the same in microgravity. New techniques will have to be developed. Games will have to be redesigned. Can you think of a new way to play football in space? What other new games can you think up as I learn how to play sports in space? Go online and let us know. And check out our new online game this fall where you can play sports on the moon and Mars. Punt, pass, and click your way to the Garrett Science Challenge at www.challenger.org. www.challenger.org. Remember, science and math can be fun.